Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome to the stream. I am Wolfie, joined here with Northstar. How you doing, friend? I'm all good, man. How you doing? I'm great. Thank you. I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to do this uh, flagship stream of our upcoming possibly monthly or around monthly uh, podcast working title upon the airship where we are basically just going to be going over everything new and upcoming with gigantic the good the bad the ugly that's a reference if anyone didn't catch it uh, <laughs> and well there are there are a, quite a, a few things that we want to discuss today uh, but we'll get to that in a minute firstly I want to go over the two of us um so first and foremost like i already said my name is wolfie or wolfie cass if we're being formal um i am a longtime gigantic player i've been playing gigantic uh, since all the way back in 2014 when it was still very very new very beta uh before microsoft like all that stuff uh <laughs> like ashlyn and woo were, were the two newest characters at the time and uh, yeah, I've just been playing for a very long time. I do a lot of the shoutcasting stuff. I focus uh, a lot of my time and effort into trying to further enhance the competitive scene. But I also have a YouTube channel at Wolfie Casts on YouTube where uh, it's mostly it's mostly serious, informative uh, videos. But I also do the occasional like little funny thing where I just kind of mess around with a, a little funny idea. And it's just because why not, right? You know, not everything can be serious at all times. But what about you, Northstar? Give give yourself a little introduction. Uh, hi, I'm Northstar. Um, I'm a gigantic uh, competitive player, content creator, streamer. I started playing back in 2021 in uh, one of the private servers. I... Um, I started playing from there. I never played the original Gigantic. All my experiences come from there. Um, but I have recently been just streaming, making videos, trying to show how good this game is to people who don't play it, trying to get more players in. And uh, yeah, it's been enjoyable so far. I love that. I have I have so much respect for you. I feel like Aww. I feel like I say this every time that I talk to you or about you. Um, and it's I feel like that's reciprocated with a bunch of other community people that I talk with frequently, like Philco and Trucin, where it's just like North Star is just the newest best brand of of like the second or third generation of, of gigantic content creators. So, so like ge genuinely, I have so much respect for you. Um, and yeah, you are you are I'm, I'm very happy that you're here um, Thank you, and just. Man. For uh, if there are just for the audience, uh, if there are future segments of this podcast, it might not always be uh, me and North. It might not uh, have only two. It might be more. Uh, me and North Star might not be involved at all. So you know, we'll we'll see. There's a whole team working behind the scenes here at Airship uh, Airship Athletes. So we'll see what's going on. See right now, North. <laughs> it's North talking to himself. <laughs> I'm just no longer here. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, We'll move on to the first segment in just a moment. I'm just going to briefly go over what we'll be discussing today. And then we'll, of course, dive further into each one as we get to them. Uh, in no particular order, we'll be going over the uh, new exciting release of Season Zero, or Ranked Mode, Inside Gigantic. We'll also be discussing uh, the GDL. We'll be discussing uh, more community-run tournaments, or perhaps maybe even future tournaments where we're semi-actual semi what's the word semi-professional <laughs> we'll, we'll, <laughs> maybe perhaps um and then nearing the end we have some community spotlights that we'll be going over a bunch of videos maybe some clips um and we have one more thing it's a bit of a surprise, though, so we're not going to spoil it now. When we get there, you guys will know. Ooh. I'm very excited for it. But yeah, let's let's go into uh, season zero. I know, <laughs> I know. In our little uh, preview ramp up to this moment of the broadcast, you were saying that you have a lot to talk about with ranked mode. Oh, so 100%. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the floor to you right now. I want to hear it. 
Spill all, right, all well, the tea. I need well, first it. of all, it, it ranked has come now. We have um it's capped at level 20 so you have to be sorry you have to be level 20 to get into ranked it's only clash mode which is which is great i love that um you can go from bronze silver gold platinum diamond guardian and then you can get into top 500 which is gigantic guardian uh what i'll say about ranked is it's given me another big boost of interest in the game i already have a lot of interest you know i've probably put like 12 or more hours into ranked already Mm -hmm. uh it, it I don't know it's just i feel like regular clash is fine it's fun but ranked has given me another you know goal to work towards you know i've been grinding to get gigantic gun and i think a lot of other players have as well which is which is nice because I, f- I feel like it's always good in a game whenever there's just something new to go after you know i feel like if a game gets stale you want something new to like spike your interest which i'm happy ranked has done for so many people and when it does come to console in I think Season 0 will include console at some point. It's PC only for now, but I think they have mentioned that they want to bring console in because they want to test both of them, obviously. But I love Ranked. I, I love how they've done it, and I, I can't wait to keep playing Ranked. Yeah, for sure. I I, I do believe that uh, a lot of what Abstraction uh, is trying to do at the moment mostly is just testing systems, making sure that Ranked is working the way that it's meant to and and in some cases it's it's not and in some cases it is and that's just sort of the uh give and take that we've been given from this developer for a while now and we 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 love and hate everything that is involved in, <laughs> in several different ways um but yeah i'm i'm happy to see it you know i was actually really surprised how soon that it came because i know Same. that with, i know that they were wanting to push it to, to have it like come out as soon as they could and i'm sure there were i'm sure there were like time constraints and time limits uh, and all that sort of things because it's <laughs> game game development is is very very um vi- vi- vitriolic uh it's just <laughs> kind of a it's 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 weird but anyway um i i kind of feel like that one patch came out like the, there was there was that patch that came out the the second big balance patch that came out, uh, and then we got another small announcement, and then a, like a mini patch that fixed some really really bad bugs like that Amani bug, and then oh all of God. a sudden, all like all <laughs> of a sudden three more days pass, and then we have ranked out. You know, funny yeah. story, funny story. It was it was on Tuesday, right? Yeah, um, mm, yeah. <laughs> It was on Tuesday, and I was, like, in the middle of so many other things that I didn't even see that the announcement happened. And, like, 2, two o'clock, 3 o'clock came around. It's, like, 8 o'clock at night for you guys. And <laughs> then all of a sudden, I, I turn over, and I see a bunch of people that are just like, oh, my God, ranked. Oh, my God, what's going on? And I'm like, what? <laughs> and I see the news feed. <laughs> I read this thing. I'm, like, five hours behind of what is going on with, oh with current God. announcements. And I'm like... No way! <laughs> like I, I was expecting it by the by f- like f- on like Friday, like at the earliest. And now you know now it is Friday, and we've already been diving super deep. Or you have, I should say. A lot of people have been diving super deep into it. Right? <laughs> it's just, it's kind of crazy. Um, I love yeah, you've been you've been playing it nonstop. I've I've seen mm. you on stream. I've seen a bunch of people. Uh, kind of streaming and getting a couple of, of ranked games a bunch of people like kind of grouping together and queuing together let's let's briefly talk about that i feel like we i feel like our intention with this podcast was to get a lot of the good uh out of the like kind of give a lot of praise and good about the current scene and and the current gigantic workings i know that that's not always true though i i kind of mm. really want to just get the bad out of the way so what are what are the things that you are not enjoying about rank so far one of one of the big things obviously yes we do want to keep it positive but one of the, some of the things that if a dev is listening uh, these are the things i think need to be sorted before we sort of get all the good with ranked um getting put in asia servers is not fun i do not like losing my placement because i get put in an asia server and none of my homing missiles decide to work um i th- feel like Queuing, the way the queuing system works, five stacks definitely are no, 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 no five stacks, please. Um, 
it is i get it, i get it's fun to go in with your entire team and you know i'll have all the coordination and all and you know you guys are all having fun but if five stacking is allowed if a five stack and a four stack go up against each other the five stack will win nine out of ten times you know having that one extra person to coordinate is it's it's annoying to lose against and i think duoing is fine up to duoing maybe trioing is okay i think anything past that you're getting into a bit of murky water and i think that is where i would cut it off but as far as we've been doing i've been telling people to five stack so that they know so that the devs can see how how troubling it is but yeah even no, with that it's still been fun yeah no 100 percent. i i i have to agree um and it's not just you there are there are a bunch of people there are, there are a bunch of big uh big community names that are saying like hey we need to show that five stacking is really really bad <laughs> like we can't just say that five stacking is bad like they need to see the results and i think i think day one and day two like we really hit that home as hard as we could or, or a bunch of people did i i haven't really been playing too much ranked because i haven't had a lot of free time recently unfortunately but uh now that we're like now that we're further in i think the point has gotten across um and i do hope that people are still enjoying ranked but yeah it's it's funny though because they they made in part of their announcement and part of the posting when they actually did release ranked that they 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 want a system in place where it's going to try to prioritize groups of of even size to queue together like against mm -hmm. one another like two groups yeah. of three should face each other two groups of five should face each other like a bunch of solos maybe like a like maybe a duo and three solos should be on one team and then the same exact thing on the other team huh. and that's that's kind of the hope and maybe like maybe that will be the case eventually but right now it's <laughs> i i right now the the community is so small at the moment like people are excited for ranked and and we've seen like a bunch of different sources saying that more people are playing right now uh than they have been for a little while so we'll i mean we'll see hopefully that the hype keeps up but for sure like a hundred percent if anything that abstraction needs to do is to make sure that five stacking for ranked is not a thing 100%. at least at least not right now maybe in a couple years when we're actually like a big game <laughs> You know, like hundred <laughs> percent. I mean, it's like in especially like even if you like other games that have ranked, like full teams are allowed to play up to a point, mm -hmm. you know. But the thing is their player bases are usually large enough to accommodate that. I feel like Gig needs needs to um maybe get some more marketing um up a little bit. Maybe I feel like a soft relaunch could be fantastic, you know get all get these like the solo queue and the matchmaking bugs fixed it's that'll be fantastic they do a big announcement relaunch and get loads of people in and they'll stay this time and i feel like that would a hundred percent make all those things with um capping the amount of people in stacks and all i feel like that would be better if if we had a larger community behind it i i i agree completely so let's move on to the possibility of like the ranked reward system so for the mm -hmm. for the season zero for the current situation there is the only reward that you get is just so long as you completed your five placements it it doesn't say that quite exactly but that's uh, that's the essence of it so long as you've done your five placements you will get a title a nice little vanguard title that you can attach to your profile in some way um but i do think that that's really cool because it kind of opens up the floor to a bunch of potential different rewards like it couldn't be only just titles like what if we have a future where certain seasons reward like entirely new weapon cosmetic lines or skin mm -hmm. lines or um you know icons for your profile just just a way to show your merit and kind of the progression that you've made how cool would that be? I love that idea. You know, it's like, it's the same way we have like Eternal Light weapons, you know? Like, it, it's so good to like get an achievement that like looks so cool as well. The Eternal Light weapons have like VFX that are different, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that. I feel like for ranked could be 
so so cool um and even like skins as well that maybe have different effects uh i feel like for ranked rewards could be awesome for sure uh there's uh there's another thing i want to actually talk about uh because uh you have been climbing very well i've, I've seen <laughs> like i was playing with you yesterday <laughs> a little bit i saw your stream um earlier not today but like last night Just, um, yeah, yeah, yeah uh how have your how have your cues been if you're not like have you I, I should ask first have you not like been five stacking at all have you only done like two or threes because i think you did do that in in voice comms like last night at some point the the first day i was five stacking solely for the purpose to show that you know we we shouldn't have them but mm -hmm. last night i was just trioing with classy and my friend hypnotic Arl. we were just three trioing because we 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 kind of felt like we got the point across i was five stacking again today mm -hmm. um to to push the point again but um last night it was just trios and it was going very well yeah so well the reason i ask is because i'm wondering how have uh how have your cues been like, how have your cues been compared between the two? Like, five stacking versus just the three? Well, they've been fine. Um, obviously, as you get into the higher ranks, it, it you have to wait a little bit in the queue because it has, like, certain criteria it has to meet. So if it's like, oh, we can't find someone in this bracket of rank, we'll open it up a little bit wider to see if we can find more people. So there's that. But apart from that, the queues have been fine, um, honestly. Yeah, that's that's good to hear. I've only really played a couple. Like I've I've done my placements and then <laughs> like since then, like maybe three or four more games since then. Um and, you know, you're you're over here sitting like what are you, plat four now? Um something diamond. Like that? Diamond four now or something? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, diamond no. doesn't have divisions as far as I know. I think it's just you get the plat, which has three, and then oh. I think it just I think yeah, diamond and then I think after Diamond, if you're in the top 500, it skips Guardian and then goes to Gigantic Guardian instantly. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, you you over here sitting in, in Diamond and I'm still like Silver 4. You'll get there, man. I promise. I think I'm Silver 2. I just, it's because I, I, it's because I'm not like stacking. I'm, I've literally been solo queuing the whole time with like the exception of two or three games with Psycho where they were all really, really close. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, like the the three of us that were actually good on that team can't fully carry because obviously, if if two people on your team each have fifteen or more deaths, then like what what can you do? GG. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, enough enough of that. Um, <laughs> what are what are you uh, expecting for just kind of the future of ranked as a whole? Like what do you mm. what do you think would be what do you think would be good for them to do and change? I know you said before like the five stacking obviously needs to mm. go, but like what else? Honestly, I think what we have now is is good. You know, it's it's a good start. It's a good foundation for them to like have, and it's enjoyable. You know, it's fun. It's cool to have another little thing for me to work towards, and the stakes are a bit more higher. You know, because if I lose, it's not like oh I just lost the game. It's like no, my rank can go down. Um, so honestly. Um, just keep doing what they're doing, fix the little finicky things here and there. But I honestly think right now it's it's in a good it's in a good position. Yeah, could really only go up, right? You know, that's 100%. that's kind of that's kind of the hope. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> one final thing before moving on to the next topic, actually, because uh, <laughs> I know you have some strong opinions about our uh, console friends. <laughs> what do you what do you what do you think? about um what do you think about the uh, idea of a future ranked mode for the consoles but also the cross play being active like how are how are you gonna feel when you're duoing and then you're gonna have three xbox players in your lobby you know i i'm friends with a few xbox players they're not that bad <laughs> you know it's like I, I, know. I know it's like they're not that bad it's fine um I think people th think about it too much because, like, in shooter games, I understand, like, console, like, controllers are at a significant disadvantage in computer game. or well, not computer, like, shooter games. Yeah. You know, because it's way easier to aim with a mouse. But in Gigantic, I think it's fine. You know, it's like, game sense makes up a lot of Gigantic, and that has nothing to do with your controller. I think it's fine. 
Yep. All right. So <laughs> let's move on to our next big topic is, is going to be the GDL. So if anyone that doesn't know what GDL is, it stands for the Gigantic Draft League. It's a fully community run, um, just a collection of people that are super, super hyper active and wanting to play at the top level of the competitive scene. Uh, it was completely, well, not, I, I shouldn't say completely, but for like, for the most part, very, very run by uh, our friend Crazy Medic, who has been doing so much stuff trying to mm -hmm. like ensure that competitive just gets its feet off the ground. And there, there are, there are a ton of people that are, have been doing that, but I feel like Crazy Medic has been involved in many more ways. But uh, I will again throw the floor to you uh, because I know that you have a lot of involvement with the GDL. So please, uh, please tell me more about it. It's, it's, it's good. It's the whole um, design of it was to keep everything structured and, and to keep everything consistent, which is fantastic because in a game like this, that, you know, the matches, like matches in Gigantic can take a while. You know, if a game's close, you know, the game can go on for 30, 40 minutes. So it's nice to have someone like Medic, who I know is very organized and very composed and very smart. And he, like having him behind it and organizing everything is is really good. The, the only downside to it, and it has nothing to do with the league itself, everything to do with the league and the way the league functions is great. The only downside is the way customs are kind of working right now. But once customs get their issues sorted, I think the league will be fantastic for people to go into. If you haven't been keeping up to date with anything, um, people will be streaming and casting it. So 100% keep an eye out for those. It's usually on weekends the matches take place. So um, yeah. yeah, keep an eye out for those because they're fantastic to watch. And you'll probably recognize quite a few players that are that are competing. Yeah, um, they, they're really trying to push over there on that Discord server uh, that... Uh, they're they're really wanting to have at least one or two like full sets of games every single weekend. So that's that's mm -hmm. really cool. Um, and like Nor said, they have their own kind of collection of people that are are willing to you know broadcast their games, shoutcast those games. I haven't been able to because the the two weekends so far that they've done things, I wasn't available, <laughs> unfortunately. But I I would absolutely love to of course um but yeah for for the future hopefully we'll see even more of that uh let's talk about the rosters of of those uh gdl teams because there's actually like what eight 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 like or nine eight, eight full teams and it's it's not mm -hmm. just teams of five like they have they have a captain and like four main players and like three subs for every yeah. team. Yeah, that's a Each lot of people. Eight members, it's fantastic. It's like the turnout for that is so good. Yeah, I'm um, really happy about that. You know, it's like, you know, that that's kind of the worry with some tournaments. It's like, will there be enough people to form the teams? But as soon as people heard that like Medic was forming like a new structure or like a new way to have the leagues run everyone was like yeah yeah i'm doing that so it's cool to have so many teams and each one has like their own name and their own colors so like it's cool you can like kind of like root for your favorite team in a yeah. way which is which is super exciting because back when i used to watch the overwatch league i used to love doing that so it's cool to have something like that in gigantic <laughs> now for sure and, and if it really like takes off i mean man what what a world we would live in right um, oh my god but i'm i'm looking at i'm looking at this uh spreadsheet and just kind of going over a bunch of these players, I'm like, yeah, of course they're involved. Like, it's it's nice to just recognize a bunch of names. Like, of course your name's in there, but like Rezo, I see Cryptic, uh, I, I see like Kess, Furious D, Blend Burner, Purple Buttons. Like, there's so yeah many people, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm so glad that they're involved. And the, like, when I see them in game or or hear anything about them, I'm just like. Yeah, I'm I'm super glad that they have really taken off and are given a chance to show how mechanically strong all of them really are. Because mm -hmm. there's a, you know, there's there's people like me who know a lot about the game, you know, like are, are are very intelligent about how the game works. But then there are also a bunch of people that have all of that, but are also very mechanically gifted at playing the game. 
Like my my time has passed. I'm I'm an old man <laughs> by by video game standards. Um, so I, I love seeing the new generation of, of people that are still wanting to step up and and show themselves. It I wish exciting. all the best in the world. It's so fun, like just having a community of like even like the people who you're playing against, like it's fun because you're like friends with some of them and you're just scrimming with each other and it's it's great fun. It's really fun. I love mm -hmm. it. Um, do you know I want to I want to ask because you're you've been a little more involved in that discord, uh, unfortunately, mm -hmm. again, I, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse. Uh, I, I haven't been free very often recently, so I, I, I want to know if if you do know how were the captains of those teams chosen? Like, did they did they volunteer or mm -hmm. was, OK, so it was completely. Um, I think we had I think we had over 10 captains sign up and then medic which was great he came around and asked everyone before he chose who was going to be the captain he's like are you still able to do this you know to keep everything consistent are you still able to that's what he did to me. i signed up to be a captain he asked me before he finalized it are you still free to be one i said actually no i'm not which was which was really i was like really thankful that he took the time to do that um so great. that you know just, yeah just in case people didn't have time in the end you know sometimes things don't go the way they're supposed to but it was it was nice to have someone who was like as dedicated as he is to make sure everything was gonna go the way it was meant to yeah and kind of to re-harp the idea mm -hmm. of there are so many players on each team you know that that gives so much flexibility for every team to still be involved even if they don't play with their full normal roster so i'm 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 super excited about that. I I really love how much has been done already, and uh, that that the future over there seems really good. Um, speaking of games that have already been played, I know recently, uh, within within even a week, you were uh you were shoutcasting some games, weren't you? For I them? was indeed. Yes. Yeah. How did that go? Uh, it was the middle of the night, so I was going a bit crazy, but. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was super fun. You know, it was, we had to do it back, back the way you guys used to do, where we just watch POV streams. Yeah. Um, but it was super fun. We had like an amazing turnout. There were at least 60, 70 people watching across all the streams, which was really, really, really good to have that many people interested in, in watching. And people were like actually engaged in the chat and people were actually rooting for, for different teams and all the players. So it was really, really it gave me a lot of hope for it that yeah. you know people are actually still interested in in the competitive scene of this game which which is so good because this game at a, at a competitive level is so so good like it's so fun mm -hmm. i i love that um i love that you're willing to be both a shoutcaster and an occasional player for <laughs> yeah. your team because it's like that's that's so much to balance on top of all the other things that you already do, like your normal streams and the videos that you put together. Um, and I'm just, I'm just proud. You know, I, I, <laughs> it, 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 it was less than a month ago that you were joining me for the very first time ever doing a shoutcast. And I know that you were so nervous and then you played it off very mm -hmm. well. So now it's like watching, it's like watching a child that you've nurtured just grow into the world. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, North, he's just flying right now. I love it. <laughs> But anyway, um, let's talk about uh, our other friends, the the other tournaments that we kind of have had happening before, uh, you know, like the community clash and, and everything like that. Um, so this is it's mostly old news for anyone that uh, has watched some of these streams or just has been with the gigantic esports community for a while now. Uh, but there are... You know there are still things that are happening in fact there's a tournament that will hopefully be happening uh both tomorrow and sunday if if enough teams sign up it'll be the uh it'll be the what is it the wizard trial Wizards trial two. yeah wizard trial na2 <laughs> i couldn't find on the note i knew it <laughs> i was like where is it um but yeah if if more teams sign up you know that's that's exciting right i think there are currently four that are that have signed uh, up for sure and, yeah i think so and then hopefully we'll get like around six or maybe even eight like last time 
and it's I think it's mostly the same format as it was. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So double elimination, best of three. You know, each team picks one map until there's only one left. And yeah, all that stuff. So like, it's just I I I want a good turnout. I want to see just more and more happening. I, I think that's going to be super exciting because that's that's kind of the whole purpose of this. That's that's kind of the whole purpose of this Twitch channel to begin with. It was for those of us that want to broadcast these games, yeah. this scene, really see it fly and support it as best we can with just kind of marketing and and um, broadcasting. So yeah, uh, do you think uh, this is a, a question for you? Do you think that um? Do you think that we'll see more than last time? Do you think we'll see some new people or we'll have some returning people, like teams? I think we will. I think some new people definitely hop in, especially with the the free trial that's going on with, with Epic Games uh, Store. I think a lot of new people are coming in. We might get some new faces. Um, I'd also just like to see some new faces because you never know who's, who's going to be the next kind of big player like we're talking about. You know, there's some people who I've... I never heard of until the first tournament and i was like oh my god they're amazing so yeah i definitely think there will be new ones um and i hope to see some new ones because um it just mean it just brings me hope that there's there's still interest in new people coming to try the game and they're interested enough to play competitively which is always nice yeah um have you because uh have you seen like have you seen how the teams and just the competitive scene as a whole has like adapted and evolved over time? Mm -hmm. Like, have you have you noticed that things are different now, or it, or yeah. even if they are, I should say? Uh, yeah, there's definitely a big difference. Um, obviously, I didn't play back when you guys used to do it in live, but over these past few months, every tourney has gone better and better each time, and now we're all up here with. Wizards Trial 2 going on, the Wizards Verdict is happening in the summer. You know, three teams have already qualified. If you come in top three in this tournament, you qualify for the for the the Wizards Verdict, which may have a prize pool, which could be awesome. You know, our first yeah. tourney, tournament with a with a prize pool. So um it would be amazing to see a lot of people signing up again. Um, even if you don't even necessarily have confidence in yourself as a player, it's it'll be fun. You know, it's it's a great time to just play and maybe even get some experience to help yourself improve. So I, I 100 percent people, 100 uh, percent think people should be signing up uh, this weekend. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's nice to just kind of see how we continue to get better and better uh, mm -hmm. with with the with the whole scene. Just starting, you know, the the first tournament that happened, admittedly, was not like not like amazingly super well put together like you know just just to put it in the nicest way possible right it, like there were there were a bunch of things that went wrong just because we weren't fully sure like how spectator was gonna go or if it was even gonna work at all and it was just like a, a whole bunch of speculation because it was put together even before like the actual game got re -released. released yeah you know it was it was just a, a bunch of he said, she said, and and uh, it, it turned out pretty well in the long run. Yeah. You know, it was, it was so the first far. time. You know, yeah, it's, exactly. It's a learning experience, and we've learned so much from that. You know, mm -hmm. we're at this point now, we've got multiple tournaments going on at once, which yeah. is always nice. Yeah, and just even, even with the title uh, of it being the Wizard Trial NA, uh, that doesn't mean that we're, like, that doesn't mean that they're not uh, disallowing for EU-based tournaments or, pl or not tournaments, EU-based teams or players mm -hmm. to sign up. Like, they're still allowed to do that, which I think is really cool, too. Um, because, you know, again, the community is kind of small right now, so we all really need to actually work together and play together so that we can have this great showing and then see this big future that we all hope for, right? I couldn't agree more. Yeah. So where uh, where can players go to sign up? We'll, um, hopefully we'll get some links in the chat right now. Mm -hmm. On yeah. 
you can go to the gigantic esports server. This is just, just the central hub for all the tournaments that are coming up. That's the Withers Trials. That's where the community class one was um, posted. Or you can go directly to the to the Start GG page and get your 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 team of five, maybe more if you need subs in and out, and just sign up there. And yep. easy as that. Yeah, and. Um, I do believe I'm, I'm going to double check to confirm this before I say something wrong. <laughs> I do believe that there are links to those discords in the official Go Gigantic uh, uh, As far as I know, yes. Um, community events um, channel. There, um, Dave, who runs the Gigantic Esports, is constantly posting updates about the yeah. uh, the tournaments. So you can check there as well, which... Um, if you're not in the gigantic esports one, is another good place to keep in mind. Yeah, I 100% see it. So I was right. That's all I meant. That's, That's all I needed. Um, I just needed confirmation. Okay. That's um, fine. So, uh, any any other thing you want to talk about with kind of tournaments? Just kind of your hopes, or maybe just ideas, or anything. I good. like the way I like the way it's going now. I'm happy that. We still have the players who are still interested in the tournaments, um, and it 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 helps me like think forward for the future, because you know sometimes it, you, it, there is kind of thoughts where I'm a bit worried. This game has issues. People are overlooking how good the game is sometimes, and um, so I'm hoping that stuff like the community and the community tournaments and the love that we all have for stuff like this really reassures me and i think if we all work together it it can be a really really um good time for all of us and it can also help show the devs that we love this game so much and motivate them to push for more stuff like this yeah and we i mean we know i'm not gonna i'm, I'm gonna try not to say too much because i'm not sure if it's i i still believe that it's on partially part uh, on the hush hush but there there are some very pivotal dedicated people in this community and they know and have a lot of leeway to kind of getting the points across that need to be addressed by abstraction to make the mm -hmm. game better you know it's not just bugs it's it's like um you know it's accessibility and like server issues and and just like there's a bunch of stuff that's going on behind the scenes that not the average player knows about so Please be re try your best to continue being patient with the game. It, we are improving slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the devs are working so hard. Like, I can only imagine how difficult it is for them to tr have to pick up a game that isn't their own, like, baby, and then try and learn everything about it, how to make it work. You know, I have a lot of sympathy for them, so I, it annoys me when people are talking bad about them and stuff like that, but I think... You know, we have people in the community who are dedicated to making sure it improves. So we're in we're in good hands, as far as I know. Yeah, and a lot of the people that I know are involved are people that I trust, like mm -hmm. with my life, <laughs> like, quite <laughs> quite literally. I I I I have no reason to uh, I have no reason to think that eventually we will not get to the day that we want to have. Eventually, it's just going to take a lot of brute forcing and and persuasion. You know, on jacks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that's that's not what I said, but all right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, I I do. I had a point to make, and then I I completely lost it because of that. Um, I'll think of it eventually. I got this. On jacks. Maybe it'll maybe it'll come back to me. But let's let's move on because. It is time for the surprise, and I I can't think of any better segue than to talk about the potential of of what gigantic was or could be, uh, than to talk to someone who has actually worked on the team and has been involved in so much. So I would like for the one the only Mister Sofetch to reveal himself, please. Oh, no way. Poof. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for having me on the show. It's great to be here. That was already. So how are you, friend? I, I've missed you so much. 
Yeah, I'm doing great, buddy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's awesome that you guys are still running this. You know, it's cool to see people still playing Gigantic, still talking about it. I'm always lurking on the Discord and, you know, participating in discussions when I can and just trying to keep my uh, finger on the pulse. Yeah. So so for anyone, I mean, there there can't possibly be someone in this channel right now that doesn't know who you are. But for the sake <laughs> of for, for the sake of professionalism, please tell the audience who you are. What do you do? What has been your history with Gigantic? And try to keep it concise because I know it's yes. a long answer. Absolutely. Uh, I am Sofetch. I am an ex-community manager for Motiga, the developers, and then Perfect World, the old publisher. And then I also worked when uh, they became Gearbox Publishing. So I've had my hand in the honeypot of all of the gigantic things. I was initially uh, just a fan, a player, you know, like everybody else. I saw the trailers. I was hyped for it. I became a an influencer, if you consider it that way. I was streaming the game and making YouTube videos and just causing a bunch of problems for the developers by finding bugs. And yeah, that's actually how I got my foot into the door in the game industry is thanks to Gigantic. So I do owe the game a lot and I have a lot of connections and it was fun working at the developer and the publisher and being able to see both sides of that. And currently now I'm still in the game industry. So yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't be here today without Gigantic. Love that. I, I do remember, I do remember so long ago now, it feels like it's, it's just where have the years gone, but where just all of a sudden I saw that you were on the Motiga team and you were putting your video, like videos were going up on the official uh, YouTube channel and you were on them. And I was like, I know that guy, that guy, yeah. <laughs> what the heck's going on here? Everyone was so excited for you and they still are, you know, like we we owe i mean you've heard this enough from a bunch of people i'm sure but like we owe the game being back because of you like everyone knows that it's a hundred percent true yeah thank you well so, it's definitely not just me i want to make that clear like i didn't add all this stuff here i'm not running the servers mm -hmm. uh, but i feel like i did have a pretty large contribute con con contribution to bringing the game back through hosting like the community roundtable and just talking with people and organizing secret events and things and pitching decks to the the publisher and yeah you know i spent a ridiculous amount of time on this game when it was not playable yeah so yeah thank you for that and and for a little bit of time uh for a little bit of time with the re-release you were you were playing and streaming pretty consistently like almost every night weren't you yeah i was trying to it was fun Mm -hmm. uh, I got I got kind of tilted off the face of the earth and then I had to stop playing and then other yeah. things happened. You know, it's it's unfortunate timing for Gigantic. But yeah, it was it was a blast and I'm looking forward to coming back now that Ranked is here. Mm -hmm. I I have to I have to bring that up, your your tilt, because I was there. I was there for that stream and I was just like, oh, my God, he might be serious. So, so for, the, for those that for those that weren't there, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw Sovetch a little bit under the bus here. He he straight up said, and I quote, "If if ranked is bad and they allow five stacks, I may never play this game again. I I will probably not ever play this game again." And then he turned his stream off like five minutes later, and I was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> we'll never see Sovetch <laughs> again." And I was so sad. But then you then you just kind of appeared in the uh, in this Discord, like you appeared in the Airship Athletes team, and I was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> definitely everything's okay." <laughs> I I genuinely like it's it seems like such an overreaction, but like, so if it's you're so loved, like not just by me, like like so many people will appreciate you and know how hard that you've worked, like not just now, but like when the game was still going and just everything involved in all that. So I'm, I'm happy to see you back. I, I do hope that everyone agrees. Of course we are, bro. This is like, <laughs> arguably without Sofetch, we wouldn't be here right now. So we got to owe it to him, a mm -hmm. lot of it to him. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that guys. Uh, I'm really honored. <laughs> but to, uh... but... <laughs> no, go yeah, ahead. like some of the bullet points that are popping up on the right side here breaks are def definitely healthy and i think the game is improving 
<laughs> so you know it's not it's not just the doomer attitude i think there's a path to victory here yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna get us officially back on track uh with our little spreadsheet here uh i i tried my best to make a good segue of of the future of gigantic <laughs> so uh so fetch i wanted i want to know your personal idea of what you think gigantic could be and what it would look like if we ever reached that point like go yeah, all out okay thank you there's a lot to discuss here and i'm kind of going to be going off the cuff because i have some ideas about it but uh, obviously like feel free to interject to stop me whatever uh, i kind of look at everything through a marketing lens now i can't turn that off it's hard i've been in the game industry like viewing video game releases and things like this for so long now that it's just become second nature for me so I think that th this game's cursed. It sucks that ev <laughs> everything, you know, Murphy's Law, everything bad that can happen to this game has happened. And I think there are some opportunities for the developers to make adjustments and things. And I think that they could have done the timing better. But, and I, I feel like I mentioned this a lot before too. I think the game, like Rampage Edition, released at a really good time. There was no other competition. It got a bunch of eyes and it sucks that the game was in such a bad state. And I don't know what the marketing status is like. I don't know if they had more budget to put into it and they're saving it or if they actually blew their load and, and that was what we got. But I think that the game did release at the right time. And you can see that on the Steam charts. And, you know, when we were first playing, there was like you, you just felt that energy from the community and from the crowd. And then, yeah, it just released in such a poor state that everybody at the, the game kind of atrophied, right? Everybody fell off. Mm -hmm. And now there's too much competition and so they decide to release ranked mode like two days before an overwatch season and uh elden ring released today and there's like all, all sorts of other things that are happening right now there was like shimigami tensei last week and there's just like too much competition right now and so it sucks that they had to release ranked now when they had a, an opportunity for it before and it took them so long to fix the bugs and stuff but all that said i think that we are going in the right trajectory i think mm -hmm. that especially the last week or so last like two weeks they fixed a lot of bugs they were i guess relatively quick to fix the imani issues considering yes. how long it took them to fix everything else so it does look like they're on the right track uh they're, they're turning things around much quicker they did a server fix what, what, this morning and that i think is trending in the right way Mm -hmm. uh, also, kind of like the the ranked se the ranked ze season zero or whatever they're calling it mm -hmm. says it has like twenty four days left, so we've got about a month on that. And so I think when season one officially hits, that's going to be the perfect time for them. So that did line up really well. I don't think there's anything really big launching in July off the top of my head, but I know in August there's like uh, Stormgate, which is going to draw a lot of people. And there's like a World of Warcraft expansion and a bunch of other stuff and like that Wukong game. But I, I can't really remember. Oh, and the Star Wars game in, in August, too. But I, I don't really remember any big titles launching in July. So I think that they're setting themselves up for success here. If they can just fix everything that's broke and, you know, fine tune ranked when uh, they're working on season zero. And then season one hits, draw a bunch of people back in. You know, you guys are doing a great job with the community efforts, running tournaments and things, and like live streams like this are really helping to bring the community together and draw awareness. And so I'm really hoping that when season one launches, it'll be the perfect time and they have that window of opportunity right there. So, you know, I, there's uh, good things on the horizon for Gigantic, I feel. Yeah, there have been, um, there have been quite a lot of crucial moments where we, we as a community have said, you know, behind the scenes, like, okay, this is really a make or break moment. And a lot of the time, <laughs> a lot of the time they have not really yet delivered, you know, and, and it's unfortunate that that's the case. But, you know, again, the upward trajectory that you mentioned, the faster responses to desires and having more feedback and responding quicker to changes and, and fixing issues. I, I do think that you're correct. I do think that there are, um, I do think that there is way more possibility just to keep getting better and better and better. And, you know, if, 
if we are on a time limit, if they are wanting to get everything before that full season one officially uh, official goes on, then, you know, they really got to keep it in gear, right? You know, there, there are things that are, um, there are things that are happening back behind there and there's still work to be done, like server stability. And there are still some really bad bugs that are, that are, that need to be addressed. And, you know, they're, they're adding a lot to their plate. So hopefully they can keep up with everything. You know, it's just like, you gotta, you gotta eat steadily. Like, you know, like a, like a hot dog or pie eating contest, you know, you've got to keep it steady. You can't do too much at once or you're gonna, you know, <laughs> you're gonna overgorge yourself. But if you go too slow, then you're inevitably gonna lose. It's the best metaphor I've ever heard. I mean, I just thought of it off the top of my head. You know, <laughs> sometimes I have those creative moments. Wolfie thinks that playing gigantic is like sticking hot dogs down your throat. Confirm. Mm, I mean, <laughs> it's just a hot dog eating contest. That just one. gobbling them up. That's exactly the gigantic experience. What you got? But do. no, I totally, <laughs> I, I totally agree. There is still a lot more work to be done, no doubt. But I think that the path is clear, and it, again, it just it matters about how quickly they can turn these things around. But also on that note, I kind of feel like. Some bugs aren't that important to fix if they aren't game breaking. Like it's mm -hmm. okay if something is doing slightly less damage than it's intended, or uh, you know, there's like an interaction that doesn't work entirely the way that it's represented, or if there's tooltip issues and things like that. Um, and like that's just kind of the nature of video games, and I think it makes it fun and dynamic because then you can kind of take the pressure off of yourself when those things happen too. And it's just like, wh what can you do? You know, it's, it's, it's a video game. It's broken. Shit happens like that. I think the Amani one was definitely egregious and that needed to be fixed. And same mm -hmm. with the Kajir stuff. Like the Kajir stuff got fixed way too late and that was unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But the Amani thing, if they can start turning stuff around like that, I think that'll be great. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Um... I want to I want to backpedal a little bit if you don't mind. I I want to hear about your favorite kind of story working with the game so fetch. I I, I kind of want to know like delve delve really far back all the way to when you first joined the team to now. What what's what's kind of your favorite moment working in the industry specifically with this game? Man, there are so many great moments. I don't think I have one favorite story, but mm -hmm. I have like I have like favorite times. So I think this is probably my favorite thing about working at Motiga, and it really set the stage for what I was expecting going into the game industry. But Motiga was very diligent with doing week uh, daily play tests. So they would cook a build every single day. And we would all play the game. Yes. Like everybody at Motiga was playing the game every day. And it was insane because they would do some very sweeping changes or like massive changes to characters to balance, switching up the way that upgrades work and just stuff that people didn't see. And I've forgotten most of these because they just did so many random things just to see how things would work, how it would play, how it feels. And so we would do these daily play tests. And they were the most sweaty games I have ever been a part of. And I've been a part <laughs> of like competition games. You know, I've been part of like money matches. I compete in uh, fighting games every year. And still like the, the games that we would play internally because it wasn't it wasn't just like a win or loss. It was your reputation in the office on the line. <laughs> but to make it worse, like and, and you're all sitting around each other. Right. And so you okay, peek on the somebody screen who sits in the, in the row in front of you. And <laughs> oh man, <laughs> like you could see where where people were were gathering up, and you could everybody was in in comms in their teams, and you could hear you could overhear people. You know, you'd like remove <laughs> your headset and just kind of listen to the person next to you to get a, a little bit of strategy. But the the worst part of it was that Motiga had an entire wall of Nerf gun, and people would bust out their straps and just start blasting you, and you'd just be sitting here like trying to win or you know, in, in a team fight or something, and you'd just be getting pelted with Nerf bullets. <laughs> and it was insane. It was so chaotic, but it was so much fun. That's amazing. And man, yeah. That's like awesome. Those times. <laughs> and then afterward, the, the, like, the whole point of doing those tests was to get feedback. And so afterward, you would hop onto the Confluence, and you would write about what you thought about it. 
and it's just like you know you take that anger from the game and then write out your thoughts and so it was a bad it was kind of a bad time because you're all heated and worked up from the match and then you have to provide tangible feedback but oh man it was great it was so much fun good time yeah i de i definitely do remember um that's a great image that just came up on the stream, by the way. Um, <laughs> I definitely do remember a point where there were a lot of like just big random changes that were happening in the core community all those years ago. And like you, you, you of course got to see a lot more than I did or any of our uh, just core, you know, core exclusive players did. Uh, but it just, it's, I, that's amazing that that, is the case and i i do hope that there are ideas for not just like balancing things going on in abstraction not just like you know slight adjustments like i think a lot of people actually have feedback on discord and just to each other of big changes that they actually want to see in the game and and just kind of you know how how certain characters could be better off you know like there there are a lot of people that want uh Sven to be a little bit different there are people that want Fadasi to have a rework you know like there 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 are ideas by the community and i i hope abstraction has either seen them or also have their own ideas so maybe maybe we'll see even more like not just not just new characters new maps or, or mechanics creatures whatever like i want to i want to see I, I want to see like an actual old time character just get this nice little overhaul because something is weird about them and they just they need it <laughs> right make me expand an assassin please oh so boy see. <laughs> let's not let's not go there i don't know about that could i agree I disagree with that one yeah yeah i think i don't want to take up too much time but i think that is an interesting topic because i kind of feel like on one side some of the characters are a little borked and they don't feel cohesive especially like Ezrin I think he is the prime candidate for a rework I know a lot of people are enjoying him now and I've seen some good builds out of him and I've seen him be effective but I think that he's a little half-baked and that he released at a bad time during uh, the game's life cycle and mm -hmm. but on the other side of that coin I feel like if if your favorite hero got reworked would you still want to play them I mean, that's kind of a draw, right? You you get accustomed to a hero. You like their play style. You like their nuances. If they get changed too much, is it still the same hero? Are you still going to enjoy them? That's fair. What if it was Griselma, though? <laughs> yeah, that's a weird one. You know, Griselma was different. I'm sure you remember Griselma used to have three hands. And actually, mm. there's an official promotion art that's still out there somewhere where Griselma can drop three of her hands. And also, her focus was completely different. And the way that some of her skills interacted was different. And yeah, Granny was quite a different hero in play before. And also w when she had talents for just like going from having the old school talents that you would get at uh, 3579. Yes. She was she was completely different just because of the way that you could upgrade her and give her different tools and utility. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Oh, my God. Northstar, that might be something that you don't know about. I, I want I'm going to well, bring up some I'm going to bring up some old history about this game. Before you could upgrade every ability twice, you actually only, like you, you you could still upgrade your abilities, but it was way it was like way less streamlined. Um, and you actually had extra talents that you got on every odd level. So you you got huh? like like a clash talent kind of, but it had an effect that was just permanent. So you know how you know how clash talents right now work where it's before class, you have a benefit, and then after class, there's a secondary benefit. Mm -hmm. Those kind of talents used to be on every odd level. So you got a quote unquote class talent at level three, five, seven, and nine on Weird. top of all of your upgrades. Oh my god! So like, <laughs> there was so Weird. much that you had to that think about. Crazy. It was yeah, a little little history lesson for for people there. I actually totally forgot about that until just this moment. That's amazing. Also, Sophie, do you remember what Griselma's old ult was? Because I don't. Yeah, it was. It was, the the hand was still there, but I think it, I think it beamed, or it didn't do the knock up. I know mm. they added that later. 
Oh man, actually, yeah, I forgot. Let me see if I can find it. Well, but yeah, it's been it's been a while. But yeah, she had a, a different focus entirely. Maybe maybe that'll uh, come back up eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll go through some of my old screenshots and stuff and see if I can locate that. But yeah, like a lot of heroes had major adjustments like that. Same with Paco, actually. Paco was a very different character before he officially released that. Uh, I think it was February after yep. the um, after the the Xbox launch. Yeah, it's it's just so weird to see how far that we've come. So, I mean, so I, I guess I guess I'm going to ask at this point, um, do you want to stay for like the rest of the, the broadcast? I don't know if you've got like plans today or if, or if we're keeping you because we are moving on to the next segment. So I don't know if you want to stay or not. Yeah, I'm good to chill for a little bit if you'll have me. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Thanks. So we're we're going to we're going to move on to our 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 last kind of big topic here. We actually want to give a couple of shout outs to the community. Uh and this I just want to I want to put it out here. This was not made by me. This is entirely made by someone else. Um cuz Norse video is on here and one of my videos is on here. This was this is not this is not uh, selfless like self <laughs> self promotion <laughs> it's not shameless self plugging i can't speak words right now um but yeah let's let's go over um let's go over our videos i mean i i should have probably asked this before we started how are we actually doing this are we just discussing them or are we showing them banjax if you're able to answer Okay. Ooh. Okay, fair enough. So I'll mm -hmm. I'll go over the one that I I'll I'll go over the one that I currently know then. Um oh, he's, he's bringing what up mine. He's what bringing is up this? mine. You haven't seen <laughs> Wolfie. I'm actively getting embarrassed on stream. Um yeah, I made a smasher pass video off of what? A, off a wayward what? comment. What motivated? Yeah, I was gonna say what motivated. It was a it was a idea. wayward comment. You were there. You were there. We were playing with. Uh, we oh, were that's playing right. So fetch, not so fetch. We were playing with Trusen and uh, Felco. <laughs> I did not said, think you'd actually do it. <laughs> I didn't think I would either. This happened at around five a.m. when I hadn't slept, and I was just like, you know what, I'll do it. Uh, but yeah, I this is one of my this is one of the examples of one of my silly videos where I go in super depth. It's it's actually like a 25 minute long video uh, oh of gosh. going in depth of how I would <laughs> smash or pass on every gigantic character. That's fucking brilliant. Sorry, I don't know if I can swear. My bad. No, you're good. <laughs> That's um, brilliant. Yeah, I actually ended up going mostly even. I was I was surprised. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I've been doing recently. <laughs> Wait, you would pass on the robot. <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you going to do? It's, it's a, a robot. Which, okay, which one, Sofetch? There's two robots. What? Um, wait, did you pass on both of them? I did. You passed on both robots? They're robots. Mm -hmm. What am I going to okay. do with them, Sofetch? Well, I think the, the right question is, what are they going to do with you? Oh, I mean, I guess. But, like, I, I think I actually mentioned that. But then I said no, because Teamette's, like, Teamette's an assassin mercenary. Like, All right, that's, fair. that's uncomfortable. And then, yeah, a little I don't, cold. I think HK. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think HK is. Um, I don't know. He's he's just like. I don't think he would understand what's happening. <laughs> so it's not enjoyable. Oh uh, yeah, true. Just a bunch of beeps and boops. Yeah. No intimacy. Just, yeah, exactly. Anyway, Nora, talk about your video. <laughs> I'm I'm done with this topic. Oh my god. <laughs> That that montage is. Uh, this is how. This is how much. This is how bored I get when I should be studying for exams. I make this kind of stuff. Yeah, I. I, I thought it was fine. I thought it was fun, but oh, there's me pretending to uninstall. Um, I accidentally <laughs> did uninstall it. I clicked it by accident, so. Oh I no. Had to it. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Um, so. I, br br bring up a. Talk about like how this video came through. Like, did you use every single commission? Oh, or... yeah. So, 
I, I set up a Google form and I put out a video saying that I was planning on making this and that people, you know, I just, I want it, I feel like people enjoy seeing their clips public, you know, some people who clip stuff but don't necessarily have a platform to put it on, I thought it'd be fun to try and do that for the community and give it back, give back to what, you know, their support for the game was, but I, I think I managed to use like 90% of the clips I got, around 55 or something like that, so... I think That's I insane. managed to get, yeah, it was, I was super surprised. Um, so I managed to get the majority of them in and I was, I was happy with how the video came out. It went through a few iterations and Banjax actually gave me a lot of feedback on stuff I should change. So thank you for that. But I was super happy with, with how it came out and it was, it was fun to do because I had never done like a big montage like that before. So it was, mm -hmm. it was an experience and I learned a lot from it, but I was, I was super happy with how it came out and people enjoyed it. Which is which was the main thing, obviously. Yeah, I enjoyed it. There's a, there's a lot of good moments in there where <laughs> it was like like not not just like good plays, but like some legitimately funny moments that are in this video. <laughs> it's really good. Um, I like it. It admittedly, I I will say I did think that it kind of started off a little slow, uh, but then it yeah, picked yeah, up, yeah. and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, this is this is pretty nice. And I, I'm I. I wish I could have submitted something, but then going over all the B-roll I have, I was like, this is just nothing here is good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm washed up on this game. Anyway. That was all good. I was happy with I was happy that people I, I do agree that it started slow, but I wanted to have this cinematic, you know, start. Oh, sure. You know, like look like the green screen hasn't even worked properly, but it's it was fun. I, I enjoyed making it, and I'm happy with, with how it turned out. And a lot of people were actually saying it made them sad at the start, which, which I'm sorry, but I think I think it's fine. You know, we love this game, and I think um, people enjoyed it, which was the main thing. Yep. I um, I think I think one of my favorite parts, or a part that stands out to me, because I just think it's so funny, um, the trip just attacking HK in the back for like a solid <laughs> ten to twelve seconds. And HK's just completely <laughs> oblivious. Like, cause you you know HK just for whatever reason is not looking behind himself. <laughs> it's just, just slowly whittling health. Cause it's not like it's not like Trip does a ton of damage to HK. Like we all know that. <laughs> you know, it's just There was there was one clip I didn't actually manage to put in, but it was I think it was a an Amani who was shooting the Guardian from the, from their guardian trying to deal damage to it and it wasn't wounded it was just standing there yeah yeah even uh. <laughs> even when the text comes up i i don't even know what the text uh, says it just it, doesn't it say like immune or no damage or it something? doesn't say anything they were just shooting it. oh no not not in the video i'm i'm saying like mechanically in game like oh, if it you're does, too no, far away doesn't it say anything does it really it does, it, it's only if if there's a wound it'll say out of range but if you're at your your that's spawn, what I meant. The guardian. If the guardians are the guardian was just not. It wasn't wounded. They were just doing it during the middle of like. Oh, I understand. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, I understand that. That is funny. Um, yeah, that kind of makes my point and all. Then, uh, <laughs> I was I was gonna say like even with the text popping up that says that you aren't doing any damage, people will still try to shoot the wound <laughs> from a million miles away, and I just don't get it. Um, it's better that wasn't even a wound to shoot. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's talk about. I mean, we. This was brought up already. I don't even really think we could rehash this. But like, do we? I, I'm addressing this to both of you. Do you think that we're actually going to see more players with this free child that's going on? Mm hmm. Do Do you think the free? Oh look! Oh, those are those are screenshots of the the talent thing. Look! 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 Yeah. Oh wait! Oh my god! Wait. Yeah. I was only able to find them for Nasus. Uh, yeah. I can possibly get the other ones. It's just going to take me some time. But yeah, yeah here that's they are. Here's crazy. The yeah. It's so yeah, it's good. a lot of. Oh, oh yeah, real quick. The uh, like your focus was not upgradable. Yeah. But it is now, and so a lot of the the old talents were put into the focus. Mm -hmm. Well, the focus was upgradable in different ways, but not like the uh, I should say not like the way it is now. So like long running and uh endurance and stuff like that were not available on the actual focus upgrade but oh. a lot of those were condensed and put there so yeah. that's what we see here it, it's a yeah. lot of it's crazy 
And that's why so many of them are shared among the roster because mm. they're all yeah. from that old system. That's so, crazy. Yeah, that's proof. I, I'm not a liar. <laughs> Someone said they didn't remember. I remembered. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, I love that you found that. I love that you found those that. Um, what what other what other things are we going to talk about here? Um, well, to the, the last question, yeah, the the weekend, I think that they've been doing these at the wrong times. Like right now is not a time to do a free weekend because people are already playing Overwatch season and they're playing Elden Ring. Mm. So like what? I don't know. Like, who are you capturing with that? <laughs> the audience that wants to play Gigantic is probably playing Overwatch right now. It's a new season. They want to get their rewards. So yeah, I think doing like a free trial weekend right before going into ranked season one would be good uh it kind of yeah bad timing on, on a lot of those activations but uh we'll see. maybe point. it will bring people in i i, I, I mean, do think uh, i do think you're right though because now that you've mentioned that I, I think that's actually really uh smart to bring up i forgot people yeah. play overwatch yeah like do you want free trial players coming in to play ranked like a free trial player is going to be coming in. They're, they're not invested. They're going to get to level 20 probably. It doesn't take that long. And then they're going to hop into ranked and see if they like it. So I think that it, it's better to do a shorter free trial before season one hits. And then if people who like the game because the game is very addictive and it hooks you, I think that it would be better to limit them and not let them uh, play in ranked. So like between season zero and season one, have an off period, you know, off season, then do the free trial have players come in and get them excited to play and then monetize and say season one's coming, you know, purchase the game now so that you can play season one right after the free trial ends. But I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't seem like they've, they've got all their ducks in a row over there. Yeah. I got, um, I got DM'd a, just kind of briefly backpedaling again. I got DM'd a, uh, an image of Grizelma's old focus. And then, thank you, Banjax. You read my mind exactly what I wanted you to do. <laughs> yeah, it created a trap on the ground that lasted for about 30 seconds or so. And then Whoa. the first person that stepped over was dealt damage, stunned, and then launched away. Nothing that's 100? Nice. That is a, yeah, that that's is an insane awesome. amount of damage. I see Egleb was typing that in chat, too. Yep. Jesus. Yep, yeah, Egleb cool. sent, the, uh, Egleb sent the, the screenshot. So thank you, Egleb, for that. <laughs> It just it's funny uh that that's how it used to work and i'm not sure if it was like a big trap like maybe because it, it 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 created an area i'm sure and i wonder if it was like a larger I'm, I'm wondering if it was like a larger radius than the actual trap trigger radius so then it could have hit multiple people but i don't know i don't i don't remember um but anyway let's talk about uh let's talk about some of these clips Northstar, you were the one that found some of these clips that were... I, I did indeed. Show. Yeah, let's talk some about it. Some of these it. clips are awesome, by the way. Yeah. Um, hopefully they have sound. I don't know if they're going to have sound or if it's just going to be video. Oh, they have sound. Uh, All right, let's see. On it. this one. Oh, oh no. Right. This is like a... This is what Kajir players get for, for playing Kajir. Oh. I'm sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Great. my god, <laughs> it just charges off the cliff, completely misses. That's hilarious. Yeah, so good. <laughs> that's a great title for the clip, too. The, the clip title is Kajir outplayed himself. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> what about the uh, what about the Rutger go boom? I want to, I want to oh, see that one. This is my favorite one. This I, does have sound. So I pointed, I right. pointedly made sure not to watch these because I wanted to be surprised. This one's so good. This is loud. So, if the sun oh dies. Oh my god. Oh my god. He exploded. Play it's it again. I want to hear it. It's the audio that's brilliant. Oh, is it not coming through? Oh my. Come on! I fucking went in the fucking thing. How does it keep stunning me? Maybe it's. Maybe it is. I don't know. Oh, it is. It is on stream. Okay, okay. I just. It's just me then. I don't know. Oh, I'll watch it later. <laughs> but so yeah, good. that is that's insane how fast he melted. All right, and then let's the watch. The guy the... playing him was not pleased. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, supposed tank just melts like that for sure. <laughs> but I mean, what what do you expect against five players and a freaking storm drake? Like, what are you what are you doing? 
true. All right, let's watch the let's watch the last one. This is a one from Furious D. The goat. Come back! Come back! Come Called with Gears Within you. Gears. <laughs> Wait. Oh. 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 Wait, there's no way. Wait, there's no way. There's no way. Oh my god. <laughs> there's no way. How the Come turns back. have Come tabled. Back. For real? Oh my god. She she tried so, I mean, I love that that's recent too, because that's a change from the Ashland in the second big yeah. patch where it got fixed the work the way that it was supposed to. <laughs> that is so funny. She took it she took full advantage of that and then sent him flying. Uh, that's amazing. Yep. I wanna I wanna go I'm gonna quickly go a little bit off off topic. Not off topic, uh, off the off the pre-written segment here. I want to yeah. give a shout out to Furious D for mm -hmm. keeping up streams as often as he does. This man streams like every single day for multiple hours, just trying to keep some sort of, of you know, gameplay that people can watch here on, on Twitch. I have so much respect for him and for the people that are continuing to stream. Uh, no, I know North Star's throwing out streams every now and then. Um, you know, there, there, there are a few amount of people that are really fully dedicating to still streaming gigantic, even though they're not actually getting like a ton of viewers. So I, I respect it. And I, I hope that you guys still keep streaming because I do love just popping in and watching and lurking every now and then. It's fun. Right. It's, it, it's important mm -hmm. for, for me on the community. I think it's nice to have people who are dedicated to keeping up content and showing that there is an interest in it. Yep. And let's let's finally go over uh some artwork. Do we have we have fan art, right? Uh, as far as I know, yes. Oh Ooh. my gosh. The Kato has a mustache? Oh yeah. Since when? Always. It's pretty great. He's not went over my head. A ghosty mustache. Oh well, yeah, you don't look at <laughs> you you beg you beg for you beg me to give you my dad, but you don't know he doesn't has a mustache. Okay. <laughs> that's uh that's a Maruto. Maruto. More Shout Maruto. out to Maruto then. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. I thought that you might have put it on the image or on the drop down. But anyway. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Maruto, for drawing this. I mean it's I I love it. Ashton's my favorite character. She has been for a long time. I wish I could draw. This looks so cool. <laughs> I do too. You have no idea how much I wish I could draw things. That's why I pay people to draw things. <laughs> um, and let's look at the let's look at the next one. T Mat, a T Mat, uh, drawing from someone named Carl Free. It's not oh. a drawing. What oh, is wait, it? I know exactly what this is. I know what this is. I know exactly. Yes. Oh, it's a clip. I know exactly what this is. Yes. Oh, I it's love... it's this bug. Oh, this is one of my favorite. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> it's a model <laughs> bug. It's a model <laughs> bug. <laughs> oh, man. Um. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so it's so funny to see a character not. <laughs> it's just it's it's a uh, it's one of those things where you see it not that often, but when you do see it, it just sticks with you forever. That is a bug. They can never. I don't want. I do not want them to fix. That. I don't want that to be fixed. They are either. golden. It's so funny. I, th I think one of my favorites was I think it was your stream actually that I was lurking on. It was someone who wanted to play Margrave, but they had they had like Beckett's uh, yeah yeah yeah, skin yeah on, and then oh Beckett just had Beckett just had a huge like hand and like a super <laughs> stretched body, like something out of a something out of a like Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh my god, it was terrifying. I was running oh, around, <laughs> running around the big like. I don't even think she had the demon fist. I just, I just think one of her guns was just like super massive. big. <laughs> yeah, one of the guns was super massive, and she'd just be smacking you with the gun with at melee. That is 
amazing. Someone should come up with that as an actual character. They don't shoot their gun. They just run around smacking people with it. people with a, with a gun. Like they're oh my god. Ooh. This was... Yo, yes! Jesus. <laughs> so wait. Has this really been that long? Is that... Has that... Is that Captain Correct? Is that Jesus. is that direct is that directly from the source? I did not know that this was happening for that long. That is it should never change. This is that brilliant. Is really funny. Is this the is this the official like is, is this the motivation for that one Vadasi art where it's a really buff man Vadasi? Is that where it came from? I don't, I don't actually know because That'd of be it was. So funny. That'd be so funny. I don't know the origin of that actually. Uh, what about the next one, uh, Banjax? Griselma fan art. Melchior inspired Ooh, Melchior? Griselma fan art. Yo, this is the actual weapons kind of fire with the wolf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is from Dan Lacrosse. Credit to them. Shout out, yeah. Dan. Yeah, an Anubis, uh, Anubis style head. I wonder if that means that the hands would have like. A wolf head. Oh, be like, I wonder if they'd be like dogs and they'd like yeah. bark at you. Oh, yeah. actually, that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be really funny. I Who's love that, that costume lady from The Incredibles. Oh, Edna? Oh, Edna oh my Mode. god, <laughs> it's Edna Moe. Kind of does. Vibe. Yeah, it's the glasses, I think. It's hilarious. That's amazing. Yes, I have been. I have been told, confirmed that the uh, stretch model bug or or a wrong model or model wrong model on the character bug that has been a thing from the old days so yes oh my god it's been a while i've i've genuinely never seen it until the re-release so that's that's really funny um all right we have one more uh it's called rush appreciation from someone named drugged elf and i'm 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 concerned it's probably another video oh, oh. it's a tw it's a tweet it's a video I realized on X. after playing ranked and getting back into class that the reason I've been playing more than half of the cast um, this go around is that I've been loading into Rush at level 10. Hmm. For example, I found out I actually love playing Voted, but only when he's level 9 to 10, I would rather play a different game and go through 1 to 8. Characters are one of the best parts of the game, so it's been really awesome being able to pilot them more easily. Oh, so, yeah. I do. Rush is great. I, yeah. I, I think Rush has overall like been a fantastic change and I actually think that Rush is probably more popular with the majority of the players than Clash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rush is uh, it was something that we were on the fence about when we heard about it. At least mm -hmm. I was and I know a bunch of other people were. I think they were <laughs> <laughs> so good. That's funny. Um, um, but yeah, a lot of people were worried that Rush was going to split the player base too much and, and queues are going to be super long and people were going to prefer Rush over over Clash and just all that nonsense. But no, I, I do think that it was a healthy addition to the game. And that's something that uh, I discussed in a different podcast that Failco ran. <laughs> Shout out to her in that in that video. Go watch it. Failco Punch at uh, on YouTube. You can get a link. That'd be fire. Not going to yeah. lie. That'd be pretty good. Uh, I will let I'll let Banjax do that as we start wrapping up officially. This was a successful first podcast, I think. I yeah, I, I I enjoyed this. I I have to thank Northstar, of course, for uh, being here with me, uh, and definitely Banjax for running, uh, for running the stream, and definitely to Sofetch for joining us as as our surprise guest so thank you for being here all three of you yeah thank you for having me much appreciated it's a great mm -hmm. show of course and and definitely shout out as well to the 25 viewers that are in here uh i appreciate that you're watching and listening and maybe if it's just in the background or if you're giving a comment uh every now and then appreciate you nonetheless so uh our only real closing statement is when are we going to do this again? Uh, tomorrow. I'm... <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> uh, whole whole hour and a half long podcast for more news related things tomorrow. Right here, right now. Anyway, no. Um, I mean, honestly, I really enjoyed this. I think a 
month is a good time frame uh, mm -hmm. to kind of gather up a bunch of stuff that's happening in the community um, and topics to deliver and dis uh, or to gather up and then talk about. So I like the idea of, of doing this every month. Um, are we going to be on a strict time schedule of, you know, the last or second to last Friday of the month? I don't know. It could just be near like the last week of every month. It's something yeah, it could that be like a monthly do. monthly like recap of like what's happening and what we think will happen next. That could be good. Yeah. Well, this is this is stuff that uh, the the bunch of us on this Discord can discuss and and mm. talk about. But I personally am in favor of doing this again, and I'm hoping that there will be like perhaps different or more uh, commentators in the next one. That'd be really mm -hmm. cool as well. I didn't do that. But uh, for those that are listening, expectations are looking well. That there will be more of, again, working title upon the airship. <laughs> we'll figure it out, just as the just as the screen says. And it, it might be a different <laughs> title. It might be a whole different, um, you know, a whole different sort of organizing it. But either way, we'll, we'll definitely expect to see more of this. Right? Any any last closing statements? the two of you uh let's so let's go first on this obviously he's the guest <laughs> oh yeah thanks again for having me on it's awesome and appreciate everybody who is in chat and watching the vod and uh everybody else who's just coming through and playing gigantic you know it, it does mean a lot to everybody you know we're all here because we're passionate about gigantic and we just want the best for the game and i do think that the, the game has a chance to recover and turn itself around. So be looking for that and, you know, keep the game in your heart and mind and be ready to continue playing once you get that opportunity. And yeah, thank you all for having me on the show today. It's been fun. Thank you. All right, North. Uh, thank you for, you know, showing support for this game. It's, you know, this is my favorite thing to do it's it's super fun and i love the passion that everyone has and the bring uh, the passion they bring and like all the feedback they give i think it's important for us to do our best to show people who can who may be coming into the game or show developers that there is a reason to keep working hard and keep you know hope up for the game because it it does deserve you know massive success it's a fantastic little game and you know, we're all here as Sofa Tech because because we have a passion and love for it. So um thank you for having me on as well. <laughs> well you're you're stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um yeah, thank you. Thank you guys again for, for joining me. Thank you again to the audience for being here. And yeah, we will we will go ahead and sign off, I do believe. So from everyone at Airship Athletes, thank you for joining us for this first podcast and look for more in the very near future. See you guys on a different day. <laughs>